Hello, my name is Jujin and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Ooh, glitchy. <laughs> Standard replay file, but we are in the LAV 600 today. One of two tier 7 tank destroyers. Well, I think there's actually four. Three. Three? Three and another Centauri 120 skin. So, there's a Centauri 120, there's this, and there's also the M1134, which is that rocket. Uh, or rather ATGM based vehicle which is not really comparable so we'll compare this to the Centauro. Now both vehicles are quite quick however Centauro has a lot more damage output with its gun compared to the LV1, uh, 120 I was going to say, the LV600. Uh, the LV600 has a quicker reload, it's been buffed several times since, since the game has been uh, in open beta, it used to have pretty bad DPM, it still has worse DPM than that of the um, Centauri, uh, but it's not really that bad, and it's nice being able to fire quite quickly. Your penetration is slightly worse with the top rounds though, 429 versus 440 I believe, uh, with the AP shells, 600, sorry, 365 millimeters with the heat. Now. The mobility is quite good, the armour is minimal, 30mm maximum on the turret and about 20 to 25 on the hull. There is angling involved obviously, you may bounce a few, oops, you may, <laughs> you may bounce a few uh, low calibre rounds such as, you know, auto cannons, VBLs I'm looking at here, but you're not really going to absorb too many shells like that big old 500 damage there and you don't have that much health to play around with. So the vehicle can struggle in top tier, sorry, in tier 8 and 9 matches, it can reach tier 9s obviously, but when it's in this kind of matchup where we have tier 7s and 6s, we can do our work. There's a Challenger 1 over there behind cover, I'm just blowing away the cover of that building so I can see his nice big side profile. Good old hit there, 557 damage and we've almost reloaded, in fact we have get another 500 damage in so we got two shots off there within about five odd seconds uh, about a thousand damage not bad shells coming in all over the place artillery palm maria i think it's targeting me in this match i can't actually tell i don't think in the replay although i might be mistaken and we've also taken another hit which means we're on half our hit points or rather just uh yeah just about half our hit points which isn't good and we're going to need those hit points for later on. Got another good shot into the Challenger 1 there. Missed that one unfortunately, we just hit the front side, which is still quite strong on the Challenger, you can't really penetrate that. But aim for the middle and the back side, as well as the back. 530 damage, very nice, and the Challenger 1 in front of him takes him down, maybe with a HE shell, maybe with a or has shell rather or maybe just with standard AP. Stingray 2 there, we can't see him. Type A52M on the hill there we can see we can see us and we've taken another hit. That's three hits we've taken and we're also now down to a quarter of our hit points. So another hit from him and I expect probably to be either dead or maybe on about 50 hit points. Getting some good damage in though with this good rate of fire. Although Saying that, the Centauro would have done more damage by now, and may um, kill him in the next shot, whereas we definitely wouldn't. Uh, he's on 751 hit points, he's quite behind that bit of mound over there, we can't really see from this position. And unfortunately we don't have a uh, first person view yet. VFM and another vehicle down there, Leopard's calling for help, but he's behind all those pieces of rock, so we're not going to do that, unfortunately. Pal Maria from earlier, he was annoying me and we get it a good hit for 500 damage. These are all AP shells. Now I will add, I can't remember my exact loadout, but I believe I was carrying far too many heat rounds uh, for this vehicle compared to AP. Now not because heat pen at this tier is not bad, uh, 365, it's not great but it isn't bad. Uh, you can penetrate people especially soft skin targets with heat, it's just I like to be able to fire AP at longer ranges because 
A, it has higher penetration, and B, it has a much faster flight time. The velocity of the shells are much nicer. And when you're fighting on high wall, there's a lot of open spaces and a lot of sniping positions. Now, also, I haven't mentioned the view range of the vehicle. I believe it is, in fact, slightly better than that of the uh, Centauro, around 417 meters, as opposed to 400, I think. VFM making an escape. We are going to have to expose a lot of our vehicle there to get the gun depression, but gun depression over the side is very nice. I believe it's about 12 degrees. And that has also been buffed. Now, another hit inside there from that Type 8502. I'm very lucky not to get around 470 damage into us. Uh, so we're now on very low health indeed. So we're taking four shots and none of them have bounced, as none of them have been uh, low caliber auto loaders. Now, or auto cannons. 97 hit points. We can't really see his lower plate, I don't believe, from memory. So I lie, uh, uh, load a high explosive shell and he goes down. When targets are on about 100 hit points, you can use that to good effect. Macabre 2B, full health, brilliant. Macabre 2B at this range is quite a problem, and I believe this was at the time where the Macabre 2B has been buffed in terms of its lower plate. Its front lower plate was very poor against its equal tier, and has been buffed uh, to counter that. Sidearm is still complete terrible mess of the side armor on that vehicle but that's what the Macabre is it's very good at fighting targets from the front and a lot of my shells have not actually connected or done any damage that one does I think his side profile is available but we're running out of AP rounds at this point I recall and we're gonna be down to heat rounds and you're gonna notice the flight time of the heat in comparison to the AP. Also, things are not good on the scoreboard. We're one tank down and a lot of us are on very low hit points, myself included, Chanju as well, and that LA, uh, sorry, that 2AV, the Leopard. But I'm doing what I can from back here. Macarvo, he's still up. I can see him. I can see the BMD4 as well. BMD4 is probably a better target to go for, but I'm fixating on the Macarvo. Another good hit. And I believe that was one of my last AP shells, or we're getting very close to the end of AP shells now. I've fired it, I don't know, around 20 shots? Or maybe it's 20 shots in total this game? I don't know. Carver is a problem. And there's a Centauro 120 with the vehicle I was comparing earlier. Good DPM, but we're going to see him later. And we take him down with either a heat round or a high explosive round. I believe it was a heat round in that case. And that VBL's been spotting for us alongside the M1 Abrams and that Challenger. Challenger's been holding off several targets for a while now. And I need to move up as I do not have any form of coverage here. Bit of a poor driving. Bit of a poor driving. Bit of poor driving right there. There's a Gentoro. We really need to deal with him because he can kill us in one hit and he can kill pretty much everyone here in about four hits, including that Abrams. Very close there not to die. And we take out the BMD4. And we got three kills. Now the damage, I don't remember exactly, but we shall see in the post-game results. Cap in the base though, it's just the M1 Abrams in there. I don't really want to join him as he um, has the armor, and I don't, and I don't have the hit points either. Put a shot onto the Leopard, taking some evasive action here as we do not want to be hit by that Centauro. It's just a Centauro and the Leopard left. So I decide to flank round, and here is where I make some errors. Now, I may have spoiled it a little bit, but here we go. I decide to flank around using one of these alleyways. You see on the minimap the map is made of various alleyways and we can use those to our advantage. It will take us some time but we are traveling quite quickly. That's a very good feature of the LAV 600. It doesn't have armor or protection in that form but its speed and good DPM are its main assets. So we're trying to get around that Leopard 2 but 
going to take me a long time and I need to deal with that Ch uh, Chantora 120. Now, I make a mistake here in the fact that I turn too quickly and I've wasted some time. Because I thought I could get behind that Leopard 2 from this direction. Leopard 2 takes his opportunity, moves forward and kills our very low health challenger which leaves our Ellen Abrams, who is on full health I might add, in the uh, cap circle alone. He's got 10 seconds left, he's capped most of that out, 97% left. Oh sorry, 97%, 98%. 99% and I'm driving really badly here hitting into stuff base cap nope reset down to 2% again so here is another critical mistake I made I shouldn't have used this alleyway or alternatively I should have used this alleyway missed to begin with that's bad news for us load a heat round now and hit him for 17 uh, sorry 700 damage which is really nice but I'm standing still firing at him and I should not have done that I should have fired one shot that connected that 1700 sorry that's 719 damage and then I should have pulled forward and got out of there but because of that I died and the M1 Abrams didn't win his fight with the Leopard 2 and we lost so a few mistakes were made and it cost us the game but never mind let's look at the post game stats so it's safe to say that was probably my best result in the LAV 600 to date. Unfortunately, we failed in winning that match, but we still managed to walk away with 9,088 damage done, 1,200 spotting damage, and 8 enemy vehicles spotted, and the Iron Star, I believe that is. 6,000 reputation, 251,000, 252,000 credits. Top on the team on damage done, which is... Well, you can see the disparity between my own damage and anyone else on the team. The challenger, or one of the challengers I believe, did we have more than one? Nope, we just had one challenger, did 3,600 damage of his own, next person 2,700, and then just down from there. Enemy team, that McCarver, 4,200 damage of his own, Leopard 2 at the end, three, uh, almost 4,000 damage again. So those two did really well on their team, but again, everyone else on their team quite low damage in comparison but some people put in a good amount of effort but yeah 9000 damage um that's unfortunate isn't it but never mind uh in terms of shots fired 37 20 hit uh 27 hits and 10 misses three enemies damaged sorry three enemies killed nine damaged and we could have done a further 3000 more damage i believe we took six hits, zero damage mitigated, and we received all our hit points in damage, so we died. Regardless, that was the LAV 600. I hope you enjoyed this replay. It was a good match, and an unfortunate outcome, and it left me with a few things to think about after that game. What could I have done differently? Not sat in one place. And as always, I've been Jujin, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.